An Algerian boxer shown in the red uniform who failed a gender eligibility test last year mm. has now won an opening fight after only 46 seconds. Wow! Who would have thought? What is going on everybody? Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance. Man, I am Ty Smith. I really appreciate all you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. You could be watching anybody else's content, but you chose to watch mine in which I am grateful. Make sure you follow me on the platform you see below and above. Yeah, y'all used to be saying above and below, ain't you? Huh? Yeah, I got y'all with that. Also, clicking this right here will keep my content recommended to you when it comes to these type of issues that we talk about on here, all right? Just letting y'all know that. Last but not least, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because people are being unsubscribed to my channel. And if you are new to the channel, I'll just say to you, welcome, and make sure that you check me out before you do subscribe because I like people to get to know me and know what you're getting yourself into before you subscribe. I'm not just doing this stuff for clicks and subscriptions. I just like telling the truth, right? Back to what I'm getting ready to tell you right now. Paris, what is wrong with y'all? You make a mockery of the Last Supper. You make mockery of Jesus. You insult Christians with your Last Supper disgustingness that you put out there. And now you're making a mockery of women. But it's not quite y'all fault. It's not y'all fault. It's the woke radical feminist. Yes, you women, and some of you jellyback weak men as well who jumped on board with all this bull crap. Now look what you're doing. Look what you are doing. This is a shame. What are you talking about, Ty? This woman who probably worked a long time. I'm like, uh, let me stop. Let me stop. Y'all, I'm going to let, because I want to go in so bad. Y'all just don't know. Yeah, I would like to go in the ring and face a person in the red trunks as well. But anyway, what red trunks, Ty? I'm just giving stuff away, ain't I? I'm sorry, y'all, because I just want to go in on this so bad. Like, <sighs> let me stop. Watch this video. Well, this was a moment of history. It happened earlier today in France, and a major controversy, too, has now erupted out of Paris. An Algerian boxer shown in the red uniform who failed a gender eligibility test last year mm. has now won an opening fight after only 46 seconds. Her opponents breaking down in tears, calling it, quote, unjust. Uh, Greg Palcott picks it up from London with more on what happened in the ring. Greg. Hey, Bill. Yeah, big controversy indeed at the Olympics. A boxer deemed a biological male beating an Italian female opponent with the Italian crying out, I couldn't take it anymore. Despite failing that gender test by the International Boxing Association and being banned from an international tournament last year, Algerian 25-year-old Iman Khalif was okayed by Olympic authorities to compete. And apparently today it was a very one-sided fight with Italian Angela Carini, also 25. After just 46 seconds and several sharp punches to the head, including the nose by Khalif, Carini abandoned the fight, threw her helmet to the floor, stormed off the boxing ring, and, in fact, went on to say that she had never felt such strong blows in a contest before. Now, Algerian Khalif has competed for several years in other international tournaments, including the Olympics, but was banned last year due to, according to officials, elevated levels of testosterone. Algerian sports officials have called the charges against Khalif baseless, but others have raised concerns about the health of opposing athletes when, according to one, a man fights a woman. And Khalif is not the only one getting attention. Taiwan boxer Lin Yu Ting is competing in the Olympics, including a fight tomorrow, and has also been deemed a biological male, according to the International Boxing Association. In a statement, the IBA said, in part, this test conclusively indicated that both athletes did not meet necessary eligibility criteria and were found to have competitive advantages over other female competitors. One more quote from the defeated Italian. Boxing is a sport that teaches you to have respect for the opponent. It cannot and must not become an abuse. Back to you, Bill. What a story. Um, I think it's quite a moment in this whole campaign, whether it's here or overseas. Greg, thank you for that in London. We got more Thanks. on this now, Dana.
want to bring in Clarissa Shield. She's a professional boxer and a two-time Olympic gold medalist. It's great to have you. And her, Morning. her, her uh, necklace there says, quote, was the greatest woman of all time. It is really good to have you here. You've competed in two Olympics. Thank you for me. This, you told us in the break, yeah. was not an issue when you were in the Olympics. And there's the medals. What do you think about all of this? Not. Mm, well, my first Olympics, I was 17 years old, so I hadn't even fully developed as a woman, so I couldn't imagine getting inside the ring with the biological men. I mean, even though I spar against the men, but fighting for the Olympics is way bigger than that. It's so much more on the line. So to have to go in there with the opposite gender when, look, women fight against women, men fight against men. So I don't, I don't even see how the Olympics uh, done something like this. You know, I watched this video earlier today, Clarissa. I, have you seen it? The Italian boxer saying, I'm out. Have you, have you seen the video yet? I've seen it. I mean, she really looks scared to me. What did you think? You know, I grew up in a gym sparring against a lot of guys and stuff, but every fighter, uh, woman fighter does not do that. So, um, so the power to her did seem like it was much bigger and much stronger. And... Um, and it is scary, you know, and I don't know how old she is, but it's still like when you're born a man, you're already born with the bigger muscles and a bigger neck and you've grown up to be a man, you know, you didn't change genders when you was a kid. So it's to me, it's just, it's just unfair. And, um, I just, I just can't believe that it's being done. And I just couldn't imagine it uh, happening to me. There's not that many women who are willing to stand up and say this is wrong um, and mm -hmm. you know I admire you for doing so do you think the Olympics will have a change of heart here I mean if you see her that that young woman from Italy she worked just as hard as anybody else to get to the Olympics and her dream was dashed in 46 seconds because of him it is very hard to qualify for the Olympics you have to go through so through so many different international tournaments uh, country tournaments to even make it to the Olympics so um, for me, I can understand her, uh, her uh, devastation, but it shouldn't be ruined due to a man. And I think that uh, the Olympics definitely dropped the ball, you know. And listen, I don't, I don't have anything against transgender women or transgender men. All I'm saying is that men should fight against men, women should fight against women, and transgenders should fight against transgenders. That is how I feel. Mm -hmm. I will stand with that. Um, I'm not homophobic or anything like that or against the gay community, yeah, but that's understand. not right. See what I'm saying? That was absolutely horrible. Hit the woman two times and she's quitting. She quit. Cried, dropped down to her knees. Couldn't take it. She made a remark and said, I've never been hit that hard in my life. You let a biological man get into a boxing ring and do this. You know what? Thank you. Thank you to all you dumb women and you dumb men. Women can do everything men can. It should, women should be able to get into sports with men. Women should be. That is the craziest thing in the world. Look what y'all are doing. And it's your fault. Yes, I'm applauding this. Thank you. Men, we are, y'all women, we are whooping y'all butts in everything, women. We beating y'all at being women. We men are on a magazine for the woman of the year. Men are women. Men are winning beauty pageants. Yes, men are. Men are whooping y'all in y'all swimming sports. Shout out to my girl Rally Gaines who came into our uh, radio show, Cities ninety two point nine, the news to talk of Bloomington Normal. Appreciate you, Rally Gaines, for speaking up and doing what you're doing, girl. Keep doing your thing. Leah Thomas getting in there whooping people's butt in swimming. The dude who has a penis and just long hair but claims he's a woman, huh? And now we got this in the Olympics right now. Woo! Olympics, please keep letting this happen. Let this keep happening in the Olympics. And I know y'all think y'all thought I was going to go a different direction with this, didn't you? I know y'all did. Let this keep on happening. Please let us men keep on getting to these women's sports. Please let it happen. Sweet y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Olympics. Thank you, Woke NCAA. Thank y'all so much for letting these men get into these sports and whipping these women. Thank y'all for making it so easy for men to get full ride scholarships to go to college. I tell some of my mentees, look, if you're not all that good in basketball and you didn't make the basketball team, just claim, even though you're not, just claim that you are a girl. Claim you are a trans. And you can still like girls. Just say that you are a trans that still like women. And get you a full-ride scholarship to go to college. 
Just say that you are a woman. Although you are a full-blown dude, just say you're a woman. And the haircut, you can keep it like mine or whatever. Keep it lower. You just getting the buzz cut of like what lesbians wear, right? You just a trans, but you like women. Get a full-ride scholarship. Free college. Take advantage of it. But it's you woke, crazy feminists and a lot of you weak men who allow this stuff to happen. Women, y'all fought so hard to get y'all own thing, and now y'all allowing us to get back in there and take it back from you. You talk about equality, but y'all y'all good with us getting in there and definitely showing you that there is no equality. Now, I never thought I would see the day where we would be beating y'all in beauty patches and getting woman of the year and stuff like that. I never thought I would see the day on something like that. But we always knew, come on, that we was going to whoop y'all butts when it comes to doing like things physicality, physical-wise, you know. You know, the physicality of a man versus that of a woman is not no comparison. Now, with that American boxer girl, she's pretty rough, named Shields. Will she give this dude a run for her money? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. Possibly. But to see something like that happen, y'all, the real Ty Smith, I can't stand that. But also, the father instincts in me says, that's what you get. Yeah, I'm that type of father where I say, look, don't, don't do this. No, but I look, do not mess with that. That's a beehive. They will sting you. No, don't, don't mess with that bug. It will do this. No, don't touch that. It's hot. No, okay, go ahead. Now, I'm going to let my sons get tore by some bees or nothing like that. I'm just giving y'all an example. You get what I'm saying? You think you can do something that you can't. Okay, well, go ahead. All right. Women can do everything. We can fight. We can. Okay, go, let, okay, go ahead. Wait till y'all, women, let's see. Y'all, even though this would be absolutely an insult, let women try to get in there and play in the NFL. Tired. There's some women out there that will get crushed. I'm 210 pounds, 6'3". Me and the, oh y'all can go get a big woman. She can be 300 pounds if you want to. I will level that woman. We are stronger. And if you look at this video, he didn't even hit her that hard. But she said that's the hardest she'd been hit. That wasn't it. That was like, man, that was nothing. But this is a goddamn gone shame that this is what it's coming to. Olympics, please keep on allowing this to happen. Please allow men that's in track and field compete against women. Please let it happen. Because guess what's going to happen? This is a man's world. And the whole thing, but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't talking about that part. We talking about the fact that we are dominating and y'all are allowing it. We can come into y'all bathrooms and you better not say nothing. Why is it that men always want to get into these women's space, but you don't see these women trying to, do you see women trying to force their way and go into a men's bathroom? Why not? You want to know why? Because they're going to be men in there. We can go, hey, come on in here. Go ahead, woman. See what I'm saying? It's completely different. Women talking about, I should have a right to go into a men's locker room. You're going to go in that men's locker room? I should be able to shower in a men's locker room, even though you're a full-blown woman? You want to go in there and shower amongst all those men's? You're going to see it. You're going to... <laughs> but it's always these men trying to get into these women's spaces. You want to know why? Because we know they'd be easy. We get into y'all spaces, it's going to be easy. Now, I wasn't expecting the whole beauty thing, like I said again, but gosh, we whipping y'all left and right, and they are allowing it to happen. And you always know that I always say this thing, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's the Bible. The truth shall make you free. The truth is, y'all will never be equal to us. And these things that you see going on right now is proving it. How can a man be the woman at being a woman? Mm. Wokeism is reason why. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this and this sad display that they're showing right here. I hate it for them women that are in this boxing ordeal with this man that they I don't they worked hard in the gym, blood, sweat, and tears, icing, running, the training, the psychological getting themselves worked up even to be in the Olympics to compete against other women, let alone to get in there with a man to only have her dream completely punched out of her. Literally. Sad. Let me know what y'all think about putting in the comments below after this video. If you would, please don't forget to do that right there. All right. Catch y'all on the next one. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.